I hope you're having a great day. Today is day three of our reflection uh, session that we've been doing. Over the last two days, we've covered the importance of reflection. We did a reflection meditation. Yesterday, we went over reflection and visualization. We got a lot of positive comments from people who kept trying this reflection uh, technique. Today, we're gonna go a little bit deeper now that you understand the difference between reflection and meditation, so you don't stress yourself out that you need to stop all of your thoughts. Today, we are going to go a little bit deeper into reflection. We live in a world where we always get sparked off by negativity, emotional reactions, and our day has a little bit of everything. Sometimes happiness, sometimes joy, sometimes reaction, sometimes things that we regret saying, things that we regret doing. So it's so important for us to go back and reflect on these things, to see what we can do to change. Because recall our intention behind reflection, our intention to reflect is so that we can learn, we can grow, we can evolve, you know, we can see parts of us that we don't usually see. They're called blind spots because we're too busy living life. Or sometimes the ego and the pride comes in the way of us recognizing and noticing small behavioral changes, which if we made, can actually transform our lives instantly. So today we're gonna to go a little bit deeper into reflection. We're gonna end the session and then it's up to you to continue practicing reflection in your own way. Like I said, your sessions can be five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, it's up to you. You can take one little thing that you wanna reflect on every single day or when you feel like. So that's within your control. You don't have to put yourself into a box and say, I need to put half an hour for reflection, one hour. No, just go with the flow. You should flow with these things. You know, you may just want to reflect on why you feel so happy today. You may just want to reflect on why you're feeling so low, even though you have so much. You may, not, you may want to reflect on a behavior that someone exhibited in your life today. You may want to reflect on why your relationships aren't at its best, or why aren't you getting that promotion at work, or why do you feel sick all the time? There are so many things that we can reflect on and it is important for us to reflect because we learn through our reflection. Remember, we don't learn through experiences, we learn through our reflection on our experiences. We don't learn through mistakes, we learn through reflecting on our mistakes. So again, we're gonna close our eyes, I'm gonna cover the camera screen so that you can only listen. Listen very carefully, follow the instructions. Remember, no judgments. You don't have to judge the thoughts that come. You don't have to worry about stopping your thoughts in case you find yourself getting too distracted. All you need to do is come back to the breath, come back to the inhale, come back to the exhale. So let's settle down in a comfortable position right now. Everyone in a comfortable position, sit with your back straight, lie down on your bed, arms at your side. If you're in a wheelchair, you can support your back with a small cushion or just be comfortable. Now gently close your eyes, relax your shoulders, your neck, your facial muscles, let your tongue relax, your jaws relax, just drop your shoulders. You know, you may want to just lift your shoulders to try and touch the tips of your ears and then just drop them and feel all that tension flow down. Your feet should be planted firmly in the ground comfortable position. <clears throat> I want you to make, make, move your hands into a fist, make a fist, a tight fist and clench as tightly as you can for one, two, three, four and release. Take a deep breath and now clench again as tightly as you can, clench for one, two, three, and release. Settle down and take a deep breath. Remember to set an intention for this reflection practice. An intention that what you learn from it or what you experience, you can turn into a lesson. You can learn from it. Intention. Why are you doing this? The whys are important because you want change, you seek change, you seek to grow, evolve, so that your peace of mind also grows and you grow in all aspects of life. This is your intention. Now take a deep breath. As you inhale, your tummy rises, 
and then your chest. And as you exhale, your chest slowly falls and then your tummy goes down. At your own easy pace, take a deep inhale, followed by a long, slow exhale. Let's do one more, a deep inhale, and a long, slow exhale. Now the next three breaths will help you relax even more. Let's take a long, slow, deep inhale, and at the top, we're gonna hold for one, two, three, and then a slow exhale through your nostrils, longer than your inhale. Another deep inhale, and hold at the top for one, two, three, your exhale be longer than your inhale. One last time. A deep inhale. One, two, three. Hold and then a long exhale. Keep your eyes closed and a focus on your breathing. All you need to do is listen. Listen to understand. Do not listen to judge your thoughts or anything. Just listen to understand. Now let's recall your day or your life. Those times where your emotions get sparked. You become inflamed, angry, agitated, upset. Recall some of those moments or a moment in your life when that happens. Maybe it happened today, maybe yesterday. Maybe it's something that constantly happens to you that gets you angry and agitated. It's a person, it's an event, it's a thing, it's someone's behavior. Now, look clearly at the consequences that played out within yourself and those around you when this was happening. Try and be non-judgmental and objective. We're just recalling what happened and I want you to reflect on who were you? Who were you being amidst that agitation? Who were you being at that point? Maybe it was your ego, your pride. Someone said something hurtful for you that brought up your past. Someone judged you. Maybe you were feeling like a doormat, someone walking all over you with their abusers, their emotional abusers. Maybe life was being unfair at that point. Who were you being at that point? How were you feeling? And now, as you reflect on that, is there space or even the smallest possibility that you could have been different or reacted differently? Maybe you overreacted, that's okay, but could you have done it differently? If yes, do you think the outcome would have been different and may have served you better? Just reflect, do not judge, don't feel bad. Just reflect. Many times in life, the other party or the other person is wrong. And we are right. But our reaction can change all of it. What if we reacted differently? We took some space and 
time to react rather than react immediately with emotion? Would it serve us better? Just reflect. Don't feel bad, remember? Your intention is to change. And to change, we learn. What can you learn from this reflection? Maybe a lesson to pull back from people or situations that trigger negativity in you? Create some distance between them? Maybe not react immediately. Take your time to calm down. Gather your thoughts and then respond. Maybe you need to learn some new skills on how to handle difficult people, handle emotion. Or maybe there's something that you need to change. Other people could be wrong, but we could be wrong too. So is there something that we need to change? Through our reflection, that do we learn that our ego and pride actually jumps up all the time to protect us and we get more and more in defense? Maybe we can put in some more effort to be mindful and engage in proactive restraint. Situations happen, it's created the emotion. We're just trying to learn from it. They make us feel bad when we realize that yes, we could have played a different role. The idea is not to feel bad, the idea is to be mindful of it. So that tomorrow, when that same person, situation or event provokes your emotional eruption, can now practice what you've reflected on. Maybe it's a difficult relationship you're stuck in. Maybe sometimes we got to go a little bit deeper and reflect on the role that we play in our own suffering. A lot of human beings are suffering in their own ways. very important for us to reflect on the role that we play in our own suffering because we all play a role in our own suffering even though someone else may have caused our problem someone else is wrong but we are playing a role in our own suffering when we choose not to forgive it's not the easiest thing to do but we try we play a role in our own suffering when we choose not to accept, not to let go because our ego and pride is bruised. We play a role in our suffering when we move to a mindset of revenge. I suffered, so, sh so you should suffer as well. We play a role in our suffering when we project all of our negativity and anger and hurt and betrayal on people around us. So now reflect. If there is any suffering that you have in your life, relationships, job, health, wealth, society, don't focus on who's causing your problems for you. You're already aware of that. I want you to focus on your role that you are playing in your suffering and what can you do? And if you did it, how would you feel? If you choose not to take action, the suffering continues. If we do the same thing every day in our suffering, we get the same results. 
we have to do different things to get different results. You may be going through a breakup right now. Reflect deeply. You have to go past the pain, of course. Taking away from your pain of loss, of hurt, of betrayal, of sadness. But you finally have to go beyond those emotions and reflect and find the perfect truth and why something doesn't work for us or serve us anymore. There is always a perfect truth which we're scared of facing because of the ego and pride. Sometimes the perfect truth could just be that it's unfair. It's destiny. That shouldn't stop us from reflecting so that we can grow and evolve even through hardships in life, through suffering. Some people wallow in their suffering and it consumes them. A lot of other people take that suffering and they turn it into life lessons, opportunity and greatness. Maybe you're sick. You shouldn't be. Maybe it's time for you to reflect on what's gotten you sick. Every little aspect. Have you brought yourself to burnout? Pushed your body too far? Pushed your mind too far? Overworked yourself? Missed out on healthy eating? prioritized other activities over movement and exercise, You've chosen to compromise your sleep, so many. You'll find your perfect truth. There are a few cases where disease and illness just creeps in. Sometimes we can't find it. A very few cases. For every other case, there is always a reason. And when you reflect and you find that, then you can action it. You can take action. We move from denial to acceptance, acceptance to action. You're not growing in your career or your business. It's easy to blame all the situations around, but maybe when we reflect, we'll find that we need a new skill. We'll find that we've been resistant to change. A particular behavior of ours is limiting. It's easy to blame and find fault with everyone around, with rules, with laws, with procedures and processes. Sometimes we got to look within and reflect on the perfect truth. Now, I want you to recall or reflect on all of the times where you were able to bring joy to someone's life or solve a problem add value and you got appreciated for it and you felt good with that appreciation you felt good when you brought about that change reflect on those times reflect on those times where you behave skillfully on your own or in your interactions with other people how did it make you feel What are those behaviors that you exhibit or demonstrated for that to happen? What are those little things that you do that bring joy and happiness to people? What are those little things that motivate you to go the extra mile, add value, make impact? It's easy to say, oh, it's the money that's driving me. I want fame. No, there's something deeper than that. Reflect on that. Because when you find that, you can be grateful for it. And what you're grateful for, you get more of it. When you solve the complex problem, who were you then? Maybe you were this person thinking with clarity. 
you had all this energy to focus on that problem or that project. You were sleeping well, waking up with energy, with a clear mind, feeling great, starting off your day great. Now reflect on this. You could be at the lowest point in your life, but if you had to think of one, two, or three things, situations, events, memories, books, movies, songs, or people, what comes to your mind that lights up just a little bit of your darkest hour or your darkest day? It's a person. You spend time with that person, acknowledge, appreciate that person. Hold those people close to you in your life. It's a thing, event, something that you like to do. Do you do that more often? Or do we forget about all of these people and things that exist when we're spiraling downwards? Reflect on the fact that everything must pass. The good, the bad, the bad and the good. Reflect on how today as human beings, we want instant gratification. We want fixes immediately. And how that one expectation and behavior is causing most of our suffering because we're happy to deal with all the happiness and the joy and the excitement immediately we don't think about whether we should enjoy it but the moment is adversity difficulties stress we allow that whole world to crumble around us We, we search desperately for the quickest solution, which may not always be the best, because we don't have patience. Reflect deeply on that, because when we find that we do that, we have the opportunity to change, to be okay with the good and okay with the bad as well. When there's bad, what action can we take? When there's good, what action can we take as well? Reflect on the fact that when we stop to take action in every aspect of our life, we stay stuck. When we find ourselves stuck, the only way out is by taking action or we stay stuck. That action is up to us. We can seek help, counseling, guidance, speak to a mentor, our parents, a friend. It's all good. Take all the help you need. Maybe you're not thinking clearly, but then you are responsible for moving to action. If you want to get out of being stuck. So now reflect on all the areas of your life where you feel stuck relationship, job, your health. What are the actions that you can take? Forget about the past. Forget about how it happened. Forget about what you've done. It's obviously not worked. If you still feel stuck, reflect on, what's the next action I can take? Or, oh, maybe I need to find my perfect truth. So I need to reflect on that. Have I become my own obstacle to moving out of this rut that I'm stuck in? Reflect on that, no judgments. Mo 
most cases our reflections show us our egos and our prides which we don't like people to know about there's nothing wrong everyone has an ego and pride ego and pride isn't bad unless it starts to consume us change us make us believe we're more powerful than we really are and misuse that power but when we reflect and realize that our ego and pride jumps up we can tame it we can learn humility humbleness we reflect on the fact that we're all humans and we will make mistakes We will have flaws. We will have shortcomings because no one is perfect. No one is perfect. But we can be perfectly imperfect when we decide and try to accept our flaws and work with them. As you move mindlessly through your day, or sometimes mindfully, you feel time is just rushing you by. You want to anchor yourself, connect within. Just take something that you want to reflect on and go with the flow. Sometimes reflection can lead you into the deepest meditation. It's beautiful. It's not always that you have to do deep reflection. Maybe you're happy and successful right now. Maybe you want to reflect on your entire journey, how you got here. Maybe you've just achieved something. Enjoy every moment at a deeper level. Reflect from where you started and how you got here. Maybe you found the love of your life and you're living that perfect life. Reflect on the journey from when you met that person. Relive it in your mind. Reflect on it. Who were you being at that point to attract this amazing person in your life? Who were you being at that point to attract all that abundance and wealth? Because sometimes we forget who we were. We have to remind ourselves that when I did this, I achieved this. When I stopped doing this, it stopped happening for me. And we seek knowledge in all the other books, which is absolutely fine. What about your own life lessons? Your own journey is rich with experience. So much to learn from if you only pause to reflect. The next time you get really happy with something, feel the happiness, go through the emotion and then sit down that night and reflect on everything because you know who you were being at that point to achieve it, what you did, and you can do more of that. At the same time, if you've gotten yourself out of a difficult situation, you've overcome hurt, betrayal, whatever it is, you want to reflect on that as well. The next time you feel low, to see who you were when you got out of that situation, what behaviors did you demonstrate, because you can use them again. Your life is rich with experience. Sometimes, instead of looking around, we just have to look within. Now let's set an intention for a good night of sleep. Deep, restful sleep. So the intelligence of our own body can heal us, rejuvenate us, energize us, calm us, keep us healthy, Recheck your posture. Let's take a deep breath, a deep inhale, and a deep exhale. You can gently open your eyes now. Three days of reflection. You may have taken away one point. If yes, good. You may have taken away a, a lot of points. 
If you want to make this work for you, I have just three words. Practice, practice, and practice. Everyone, mostly everyone who has learned life lessons that have made the most amazing transformations for them, they've learned it from within, through reflection. You have to be strong enough to reflect, stronger enough to accept, and even stronger enough to take the right action. Have a good night, everyone.